Hi there, Pete from uh, Nautil Nautilus Water Sports. I'm here this morning with a good mate of mine, uh, Bob Stadden. Bob's just completed, I think, 33 dives in... The, yep, just over two weeks. Two weeks. Um, sometimes a lot of people would say, well, what's so special about that? Well, I find a lot of people uh, that do three dives a day don't keep it up for very long. After a couple of days, they're usually getting fairly weary and probably what makes it a bit special in your case, Bob, is... Um, Mate, you're stuck in a wheelchair. Pete, that's, uh, that's true. I, um, I was over here, as you know, with you guys at Christmas and fell in love with your operation in Vanuatu. Said to my wife, I want to go back, and I had a limited time. My mum had passed, left me a small inheritance, and I thought, I'll spend it on diving, because that'd make her happy. Contacted Leanne, said, this is what I'd like to try and achieve, three dives a day, if possible, four if it's available. And part of the situation I also committed to was I took on a fairly serious gym training routine for the eight weeks prior to coming back here so that A, I was fitter. Finally honed athlete. Fi finally tuned body, under reconstruction. Um, and it would reduce the workload on other people involved. Yep. So I'm very conscious that um, you know I need to be lifted on off the boat and you can put extra staff on to accommodate me with that and I'm, I'm happy about that. And we've come to an arrangement. Um, but it's also probably one of the easiest boats I've ever dived out of. Good old and Cowrie. The yep. old Cowrie, 23 year old. Please mind your step stepping down into the uh, cabin. And it's probably one of the best operations I've dived with in the last, I've been diving for 23 years. Yep. And it'd be one of the best operations I've been with. So you're aiming for 800 dives while you're here. You just fell five, a couple short of that. Five short. Yeah. But uh, in a way that's nice because I'll go home and do that with some really good friends. Yep. But it would have been really nice to do it here as well. No worries. So what got you into diving originally, Bob? Um, I'm pretty much a water person. I'm happiest yep. when I'm in the water. And I was just in the right place at the right time. My wife at the time had a friend who was a diver who knew someone who was prepared to teach yep. me. And I thought, all right, I'll give it a go. How hard can it be? Yep. If I'd known, I probably wouldn't have done it. But John Reed, the guy who actually taught me to dive, was a stickler for the rules. Uh, the shop he was working for at the time, he was a commercial diver as well. Yep. And there were no favours or any quarter given. And yeah. So you learnt to dive um, after you become disabled? Yep, after I had my accident. I had my accident in 1980, became a C6 quadriplegic. So I have limited hand function as well as loss of leg movement. And John was a commercial diver but also a uh, machinist and fitter. So a lot of my gear he actually modified for me yep. to suit my limited function and I still use it to this day. Right. So if you look at my dive gear, you'll see it's modified, but if I'm diving with someone I don't know, I just say, look, this is how the clips undo, you know, the buddy brief system. But yeah, very few modifications that the average person yep. would notice. Yep, yeah. uh, fantastic. And um, you've done a lot of diving, a lot of different places in Australia. You obviously enjoy the freedom once you get in the water. And yep, uh, if there's not a lot of current, I enjoy it a lot. Uh, <laughs> I don't enjoy swimming in the current. That's yeah. not my favorite thing. Um, I quite like deep diving, I quite like the technical side, the yep. twin tanks, but I like diving here where you can pick a depth, go with a guide like Jim, and you're not mucking about trying to find what you're looking for because Jim knows where it is, yep. and that's probably one of the great pluses of your operation, is that you're not looking for things, you can say to the Jim, I want to do some macro photography, I want nudie breaks, or yep. I want um, manta shrimp, Jim will take and show you. Um, and Amazing coral. As we say, um, Jim can find a moray eel 40 metres away when the visibility is 20. Yeah, and uh, yeah, until you've experienced it, it yeah. actually people were making a joke about it towards the end of the trip, saying that he actually had a bag full of plastic nudibranchs that was just posted on the ground. <laughs> yeah, but amazing diving, and uh, as I said, probably one of the best operations I've been with. Thanks. As, as you mentioned, it's probably not the best diving in the world. But it's, it's very good, consistent diving. There's lots of fish life, lots of reefs, lots of good accessible wrecks. Yep, I call it non-thinking diving. You're not constantly yep. thinking about your depth or the current or navigating. It's very easy. Um, twin bombies, which is got the rope trail, uh, um, the one with the plane on it, um, the pigeon. pigeon. Yep. You know, massive big bombing formation that you just swim around a circle. Yep. You know, you've got the little eels in the sand. You've got the big anchor. Uh, it's getting nudie brains, which are my thing. And then you've got uh, the Star of Russia, yep. great wreck in the middle of a harbour, yep. yeah, which is just awesome. 10 yep. minutes from the shop, nice easy dive, and 
amazing fish life yeah. and big fish life. So yeah, and, you know, the only thing you guys don't have is sharks. But they're all in the main street, the real estate yeah. agents and the, the lawyers and the Yeah, yeah. But you do have, I would say, some of the best diving I've done. In fact, I'd rate my last two dives with you in the top ten I've ever done. And that was the wreck, the simile? Simile. Simile, simile. Yep. yeah. And uh, we went back to Twin Bombies and did the back of it to the reef that was destroyed during the cyclone. Yeah, Dazzler's Reef and yeah. Big Stag Horn Coral. Yeah, and I, yep. I remember thinking, I have no idea where I am, which is not unusual for me because I can't navigate. And I saw the bobby that has the mantis rim on it and thought, yeah, well, the boat's above my head. And to this day, I don't know how Jim does it, but yeah, it just, yep. it just feels like you're not working. And, yep. and, and great, great bottom time. Lovely, good air, which is important for divers, nice yep. clean air. What, mate, what more do you want as a diver? And, and nice people, which is, is a plus. You know, I'm, I'm, you're happy to spend your money, happy to do the dives. And Leanne runs a tight counter and looks after all the emails and yep. inquiries and personalised packages for yep. people and yep. uh, make yep. sure you get the dives done that you want to do. Uh, something that I know does happen, especially when it's not so busy, people can email us and request certain dives. So we schedule those in for people, it's sort of first in, first serve, yep. everyone else goes along. But um, yeah, we try and cater for everyone's needs and um, I'd like to thank you for coming back and spending some more time with us, Bob, and well, hope to see you again one day. And Pete, hopefully we're going to be back again this year. Yep. So that's and the plan at the moment. We're probably going to go home and start working on that yep. pretty quickly. We'll try and get back in December. Good. Because it's, as I said, you know, I, I've had a ball, absolute ball, yep. and I'm truly, truly grateful to you and Leanne and your staff yep. because you guys make it easy. And, and being in the chair, there, there are issues yep. with access and stuff, but you come to Vanuatu, it's never, it's not a problem. Yep. It's a great And, and you stay here at the Grand. Yep. Um, I've, I've got a, a disabled fisherman that uh, comes over and spends a time mailing fishing with yep. me here, or so loves it here because it's. Good to get uh, wheelchair access everywhere. It's, it's and, brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. And the staff, like your staff, and the knee vans are just so helpful. And yep. Can't do enough for you. Yeah. So. All right. Well, Pete, thank you very much for thank your time. You. And, it's been um, a pleasure. Absolutely. The pleasure's mine. Seriously. Yeah. I've enjoyed, had a ball. I hope to see you again. You will. Sorry. In the future. <laughs> Sorry. I'll be uh, back. You're always welcome back. Thanks, mate. Thanks for your time and um, come diving with us real soon. See you later. <laughs>